In this video we're going to look at organelles being the things inside cells that have specific jobs and in particular we're going to look at the organelles that are visible with the light microscope. We're going to look at the cell membrane, the nucleus, the nuclear membrane, cytoplasm, vacuoles, the cell wall and chloroplasts. So firstly the cell membrane. The cell membrane is the membrane that surrounds a cell, so it holds all the stuff inside the cell together, and it's made up of a phospholipid bilayer. Now what this means is that it's made of a, a lipid, so fats, with phosphates in it, phosphate groups, and in two layers. So there's two layers, and they're hydrophobic, which means that water disliking, and what that means is that water cannot pass easily across this membrane, so it holds the things inside in and the stuff outside out. And it also has a role, the membrane has a role in regulating which things come in and which things go out. The nucleus you can think of as the brain of the cell and it holds all the genetic information. So it has the chromosomes, the DNA, inside it. And it consists of the chromosomes, surrounded by a nuclear membrane. And the nuclear membrane is the membrane that goes around the nucleus and holds everything in like an envelope and it is a double membrane and it has pores in it, so little holes uh, in it that can allow proteins and other large molecules to move inside and out, so between the nucleus and the rest of the cell. Cytoplasm is all the contents of the cell between the nuclear membrane and the cell membrane. So it's all the basically liquid uh, and it's called cytosol and it allows dissolved um, molecules to move around in it, so sugars and things like that. A vacuole is a sac that's inside a cell and it holds a whole heap of uh, generally food storage so it'll have dissolved sugars and things like that. Uh, now the difference here is that in plant cells the vacuoles are very very big while in animal cells the vacuoles are much smaller. So in an animal cell you might not see the vacuole when in a plant cell they're quite obvious. The cell wall on the other hand, is not only different, but not seen in animal cells at all. So it's only found in plant cells, and it surrounds so the cell membrane, so it sits on the outside of the cell membrane, it's porous to allow things to pass through it, and it provides support and protection for the cell, and that's where the cells, uh, correction, that's where plants get their structure from, because they don't have a skeletal system. Uh, the cell wall, uh, is made of cellulose and pectin in sort of a lattice that sits around the cellular membrane. Finally, chloroplasts. Now, chloroplasts are again only found in plants and they're quite small, so it's only very good light microscopes that you will actually be able to see them. Uh, and they are where photosynthesis happens. So they produce the sugar that's needed for the energy for the plant. Now their structure is very important. They're double membrane bound organelle, so we have the inner membrane and the outer membrane. And then inside the inner membrane we have these discs called thylakoids. Now a thylakoid has inside it the lumen and outside of it the stroma. So there's things inside and out and photosynthesis happens on this membrane between those two, so between the stroma and the lumen. Now these thylakoid discs are stacked up into stacks and those stacks are called granum and then the granum is surrounded by that double membrane that I referred to before. In this video we've looked at the cell membrane that holds the cell together. We've looked at the nucleus, the brain of the cell containing the chromosomes and genetic information, the nuclear membrane surrounding the nucleus. 
Cytoplasm being the liquid between the nuclear membrane and the cell membrane. Vacuoles being sacs containing dissolved glucose and other things. The cell wall only found in plant cells giving structure to the cell and chloroplasts again only found in plant cells which are the site for photosynthesis.